Hi everyone, I'm Nico. Uh, recently I've been working on a project to deploy CouchBase inside OpenShift. And in the scope of this project, I needed to inject data on the CouchBase cluster. And for this, so I've been using a CDC pillow site. In case you don't know this, this command line interface, it's provided by CouchBase, and it's just a way to send and throw data at your cluster. Very convenient because you can configure pretty much everything you, you need, like uh, the number of items you want to insert, uh, the percentage of reads and writes, the size of your of your items, the number of threads to inject the data, and you can do whatever you want. So I used to use this common line uh, tool outside OpenShift, you know, just to, to test the cluster, test the performance of our hardware. And here what I wanted to do is to be able to deploy this uh, this command line tool just like any other application inside OpenShift to, you know, just to, to do the same, to assess the performance of, of the cluster. So first things first, um, if you want to start an application in OpenShift, it has to run in a Docker container. Uh, so what I did is that I created a, a Docker image of CBC Pilofite. So you can find it in Docker Hub under uh, nmod CBC Pilofite. And to show you uh, the Docker file that I used, very easy. Uh, that's the Docker file. Basically, uh, you install the, the software that you need, and then you just run the command line with all the parameters that you that the command line. Can, can take, and that's it. Pretty easy. And I put this Docker file in a GitHub repository. Let me show you. That's a GitHub repo, and what CBC Pilofite. You have the Docker file if you want to have a look at it. And in this repo, you also have uh, a template that you can use in OpenShift. Let me show you what it looks, what it looks like. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, all the parameters that you just saw in the Docker file uh, are exposed in, in the template. Okay, makes sense. And the only thing I added is this uh, replication controller suffix. Uh, so the point of that is that I guess in many cases you want to be able to insert different kinds of workload on your cluster. So in the, in the example I will show you later, it's like I have an injector with small messages and uh, an injector with big messages. And if you don't add this suffix, you're not able to deploy different, uh, like several kind of, uh, of replication control in OpenShift. Otherwise it will have the same name and it will be received by OpenShift. So you can add this suffix so you, and you can, it allows you to deploy different kinds of, uh, of injector. So now that you saw the Docker file, you saw the Docker image where it's stored, and you saw the OpenShift template, uh, I'm going to show you how it works for real. Uh, so here we go. I have here uh, an OpenShift cluster with eight nodes, and I have a, a CouchBase cluster with eight nodes, eight instances running in this OpenShift cluster. There's also a cloud-based service that is defined, and there is a route so I can access this service from the outside. So I'm going to show you. Let's come back to the to the browser. So that is the, the cloud-based cluster I have. You can see the eight uh, instances, and there is a data bucket that is defined on this cluster. If I come back to my master node, I have here a script to start uh, to, to implement my template and create uh, an, an application using this CBC tool fight uh, tool. So you can see here, I define all the parameters that I want. I have one for small messages, where I inject very small messages, like between 100 bytes and 200 bytes. I define the service I want to forget in the bucket, the password, and then all I have to do is to create the template in OpenShift, to process it, and to create all the, the, the pods, the replication controller. And then I have, let's say, a second, a second scenario 
for big messages. So you can see here I defined the, the suffix for big messages. And I set, I think the size was like 100 kilobytes, between 100 and 200 kilobytes. And then same thing, I can process my template and create my replication controller. Let me start injection. The template is created. The replication controllers are created too. And we can see that we have one injector for big messages and two injectors for small messages. Let's come back to the cluster. And if we check the graph, you can see that it's injecting the data. It's very, very convenient to use. You can see you can define scenarios and scale if you want. Like if right now I would like to, to add more replicas to my replication controller, it's very easy. And once I'm done with my test, I'll let it run for a while. And when I want to stop it, I just have to come back here. I have a, another script to delete the replication controllers I just created. Uh, here and delete the template. I stop my injection. It's going to delete the replication controllers and the template. And after a few seconds, the the pods will disappear. I don't know, it might take 10, 15 seconds. And we will see in the cluster that the traffic is going to drop to zero. So I hope you, you understand uh, the, the benefits from this uh, from this uh, OpenShift template. Super convenient to use uh, the CBC tool tool for the for the cluster that you are running inside OpenShift. Uh, you can easily assess the performance of your cluster of your hardware. Uh, everything I just showed you is open source. I will put all the links, all the useful links in the in the video and very in the comments. Feel free to reach me. I'm always happy to, to get some feedback and to improve what I did. I hope you enjoyed the video and talk to you soon.